Guys, uh, kind of different news here. NTSB released a redaction of their uh, preliminary report. In this redaction, as you know in my hour-long video, obviously NTSB apparently rather is looking at uh, the videos I post because now they've restructured the uh, the video their uh, their page to release to show the full photographs to also to I'm trying to enlarge that for you guys well I can't enlarge for some reason okay there we go let me see if I can get the color balance out so now we can actually see the elevation no longer did they try to obstruct it or obscure it if you will um, the photographs are now full the page has been reformatted to show to address all, all the concerns I had there which was um, and now the clarity on that number two here transporters advices uh, where I where I talked about it. All right, so they redacted it. You know that's good. You know maybe they're you know uh, maybe they're listening. Hey, I'll sign a do not disclose uh, policy. Send me your po your uh, document before you post it, or let me view it rather on some private uh, non downloadable software. I'll go over it, but not with the intent to hide anything. Eh, eh. All right, eight-lane uh, roadway. Go, okay. Well, here we go. You know they redacted it on March 10, 2018, the walkway diagonal and canopy compromising the bridge, which had been built in a lot adjacent to the right. We know about this. Traffic on Southwest C Street was detoured during the installation period, and the entire roadway was closed to facilitate movement of the structure. On March 10, per the bridge design plans, well, they're not lit watching that part of my video then. Because that's not per the bridge design plans. Construction crew members detention the bridge diagonals. That's not per the plans. Uh, members on the north and south end of the bridge. When the collapse occurred on March 15th, a construction crew was positioned on the structure working on retentioning the number 11 diagonal member connecting the canopy and the deck at the north end of the bridge. Because a crane was being used for the work, they still got this because two of the Three westbound lanes be below the north end of the bridge was clo were closed. Okay. We're not detailed. The NTSB is evaluating the bridge design, the construction process, and construction materials in addition. Okay, so here's the... Uh, shows cracks in the region of diagonal member number 11. Okay. South of the bridge in Levin, though, up there. And the propagation of cracks in the region of diagonal member number 11... Photographic documentation from February 24th shows cracks in the region of diagonal member 11. Region of diagonal member number 2. Okay. Now they've got it here. Two transporters are, devised, are designed to move the structure into place. And here we got clearly on diagonal number 2 and clearly um, on diagonal number 11. We got photos number 1, 2, and 3 still at the underside of this bridge. So I have to take back my, you didn't watch my video if you're doing that. You're still trying to feel it out the way you're doing it. Well, maybe you did, but you're still going back to this default stupidity. All right. In the next month, NTSB will be conducting additional forensic examinations. We're up to fourth pages now. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Four pages. This is what the preliminary report. This is what the preliminary report looked like beforehand. For the uh, oops, let it load. This is what it looked like beforehand, because I have a copy of it. And there we go. We got video view of a uh, collapse. Oh, you know what? This is actually a the uh, I can keep both of them up. So this is what it looks like now. Will be supplemented or corrected so it looks like this format. And then we have now. Oh, great. That format. They've got it on a letterhead. They no longer have the related links tied to it, apparently. And 
same photograph, same description, except for now they have a, uh, a one written on it and giving details. Eight lane bridge. March 15th, the date is still the same. Uh, same. Here we go, finally lining this up. Something's a little different. Maybe it's the uh, font that changed it out. Were fully or partially crushed. Okay, right. Seven of those vehicles were occupied. No mention of survivors like they do with their airplanes. Those people don't count. They're clearly survivors, though. That statement stands with a photograph below it. Photograph. This is what they had on the previous photograph. And then we have view two. Font is different, as I just said. And now they go on to the next page. Diagonal 2. Now this 2 and 11 is now marked by diagonal 2 and number 11. And now they're showing the uh, full photographs with the uh, 1, 2, and 3 labeled on them. With the identification of the that also, but we don't have photograph number seven, which is most important. All right. In the next month, NTSB will be conducting, and we're back to the end. Except for now, let's, let's check, let's verify all of these players. And now they don't have, they have this at the bottom of page four. Now they tied it to the page it belongs to specifically. And there's your links. And now they have no links. Um, and that's that. Okay, so that's the update. No longer are they obscuring this. So yes, you see that it was cut off on there. So let's go back to that. It was cut off on there and smudged out the uh, detail there. Now they posted it with, so you can see that you can't read that, elevations. That that, that was uh, taken care of. There was no accident there as far as I'm concerned. So what else are you going to do? You're going to redact other things or you're going to wait, leave it alone? Now there's the elevation. Okay, these are the cracks I find most important. These cracks. Not so much that outside one at all. Not at all, but because of movement. Ending the video, um, I have a long video I'm working on you guys for, and it's actually dealing with that, but I had to go over here to verify. I'll give you a little teaser. These cracks are more important. Um, you know what? Maybe I should drop it in the beginning of this one and, and, and end it, but I wanted to show you. I'll give you a little clip here showing you guys. I found the, the uh, now you can find it too. Online shot of images showing uh, these guys all stopped the bridge at one point and everybody's huddled, huddled up down on uh, uh, the uh, north end. Number uh, 12 and specifically it appears 211. I mean 1011. Keep calling it 211, right? All right. Guess that one. 